Hey friends, Will Derryberry here. Um, at Life Community Church, we've been uh, spending some devotions, some video devotions on spiritual practices. And um, I would love to do um, a little devotion on the spiritual practice of singing, specifically singing uh, scripture. And But I'd love to start with an analogy. So imagine, if you will, um, you're in a chair, you're in your house, which many of us are right now. Um, but you're looking out your window and you are noticing how the sun's coming up and it's and it's shining down on all the life that's outside you're seeing how the trees are are flowing and swaying in the wind and you think man that's that is a gift it's a gift to experience that that kind of beauty but to take it further to take that experience to a, a deeper richer level would mean you get up you open your door and you actually move into that environment your experience is going to be different it's going to be richer because you are now feeling that sun against your skin you're feeling that breeze against you you're hearing all the sounds the birds the beauty going on outside in much the same way we could just read scripture right but it becomes this deeper, richer experience when we sing it, when we sing it. I love what, what Paul writes to the church in 1 Colossians 3.16. Um, we read that, that we, if we let the word, to, to let the word of Christ dwell in us richly, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And I think the thing that's very illuminating that really partners with that analogy is dwell in you richly. Let the word of God dwell in you richly and to do so we could just read but there's something that happens when we sing when we sing scripture uh, when we sing the psalms uh, together um, when you go into your secret place and you sing out uh, to the Lord scripture that's maybe that maybe that's just he keeps bringing to your mind and to your heart and I understand you know you may be going well that that sounds I get it but I can't I can't sing I, I, I couldn't I couldn't make music if you paid me right but it, it's different than that that's kind of a human way of, of looking at it I mean it's not about trying to sing like the latest greatest contestant on the voice or American Idol it's that's that's not what we're talking here and I think Ephesians 5 19 really sets it straight for us in what God is wanting from that contrite uh, individual wanting to bring their song to him and it says in that scripture to sing and make music, not necessarily in great pitch or in uh, elaborate notes, but right here. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. And I would love to end this devotion with a song. It's, the, it's one of the first songs that God has ever gifted me with um, in regards to my worship for him. Um, I was probably 20, 21. Um, I was going through the Psalms, and when you know it, I, step, I, I opened the door. I didn't merely just look through the window. I opened the door, and I stepped into this song that was waiting for me to sing out to the Lord. And it's from Psalm 61.1, and um, it's a cry of David. It's a beautiful uh, psalm, and uh, I want to share it with you. Open your Bibles to Psalm 61, 1, and sing it along with me. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, attend to my prayer.
with my heart is overwhelmed. Oh, lead me. Oh. to that deeper experience. Share with God what's going on in here. See ya.